Well, I want to call attention to one of the modes on the Paris Zapper My Plus that, um, I like it. I personally think it's it's my favorite mode. It's about my favorite mode. I use a lot of the different modes, but somehow I like this one mode more because it's one of the most important Rife frequencies out there. Rife, quote unquote, it's frequency 10,000 hertz. That's actually mode 12. Now, on this device, I have mine set to start on mode 12. You can set it to start any mode you want, or 10, or 11, whatever you want. And you could set a timer on it for like 3 minutes, 7 minutes, 10 minutes. I have it set for 10 minutes. Actually, it's 10 minutes and 21 seconds. So, that's how long each frequency runs, right? Now, I did test this device, and I could state this. The device is highly accurate. This was, I was running the first mode, uh, and the first frequency in the first mode was 72 hertz. This was an, a liter LDC 822 frequency counter I bought. Specific, I don't sell this stuff. I was just messing around. I'm an amateur, right? I am just an amateur Joe. That's all I am. I'm not a medical person or anything like that. I was just testing to see if the device indeed was accurate because according to the theory, you got to be within a twentieth of a percent or a tenth of a percent, a twentieth of a percent preferred accuracy for it to really work the best. If it, you know, if the theories all hold, I'll call them theories because you know we don't. It's not endorsed by the major medical profession, but I think there's a lot of logic behind this that, and I'll get into some of it. So I did prove that the technical accuracy of the device is there. It does. I also checked the devices under load, going through the body tissue, and the square wave stayed nice and constant, nice and clean, had a crisp, clean square wave like it should have, and that's in and that is the constant current technology that's included in the Power Zapper. Now the Power Zapper uses 100% positive offset. That's something that Holder Clark recommended. Now, I'm going to get into her exact words here because I think that's really, she's got some really good stuff. She This is actually a snippet out of one of her books, but it pretty much explains why she uses positive offset. I think she's, if I'm, I am pretty certain she's the first one that came up with this concept. And I'll explain a little bit more about this positive offset after reading basically what she said here. She says that parasites, in other words, parasites, which is bacteria, viri, you know, the whole nine yards, parasites, it's all included in that umbrella description, can be killed with a very small voltage, but only if the voltage is 100% positive offset. In other words, it goes positive voltage, and then down to zero, and it doesn't go negative, but only if the voltage is varied up and down repeatedly. That's why they choose the 50% duty cycle, because if 50% of the time it goes up, 50% of the time it's level. 50% of the time it's up, then down. It says if the voltage goes negative even a short period of time, it supports and maintains the lives of the parasites. So what they do is they use this positive offset. It has a little bit of, it never quite even goes to zero, so it doesn't even have any danger of going negative. And Power Sapper has a thing called pedestal offset, which even is better, you know, according to theories put it that way according to the theories I mean I wish this was well by the time they endorse this by the medical profession I don't know when that's going to be if that ever happens or what you know it takes such a long time it took them a long time if you look back you know the medical profession is very conservative that's one of the problems right um you know let's assume this technology is good let's assume it's good maybe it's not a cure-all but let's assume it's helpful Let's assume that. The medical profession is very, very conservative. And it takes a lot of money to get something endorsed by the FDA. I don't know if this works, but I'm just looking at the theories. I highly, highly, highly suspect it's very good. That's my opinion. And I'm giving you some of the background information from Holder Clark. Holder Clark, I know some people say she's a quack because they take things out of her context, which she said. But if you look at her documented work, boy, she documented dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of cases of people with cancer and severe diseases 
that she treated that were basically uh, goners under the you know established medical procedures and you know they were hopeless you know and she fixed them up in plain simple language okay you know part of the thing she used was her zapper it was only part of it but she says that she also acknowledges that the parasites have a mortal oscillatory frequency rate a mortal frequency in other words it's just like the shattering of the glass like a opera singer can shatter a glass and they say you know and they sing they sing that note and it shatters the glass that's the theory behind using the frequency to shatter microbes and I'm gonna get a little bit more into this it's probably gonna be longer than I expected to do this video but I want it to be explained to people in at least the theories uh, in layman's terms but here's the other thing she said a positive electrical force that pulses up and down not only appears to kill the parasites or the bad things the tiny invaders it also seems to energize white blood cells to go on an all attack all out attack on your enemies your parasites your toxins in spite of in other words white blood cells are thwarted by toxins benzene pcbs asbestos junk that's in your body that you accumulate from just living in a modern day society that knocks down your immune system but she says temporarily or she uses the word for a time uh, your white blood cells turn into super white blood cells by using this positive offset her, um, up and down frequency we'll call it the zapper you know that's what she called the zapper I don't really like that word but it sounds a little uh, like a gimmick you know I don't like the word zapper actually I'm gonna tell you a better description for the para zapper um, my plus I would not call this a zapper in reality this is a portable single battery operated highly accurate frequency generator that is pre-programmed with the most commonly used frequencies that the Rife researchers use and every single frequency is set at 100 percent positive offset it's far beyond what you know hold the Clark designed you know it's not um, well I like his products okay I mean he's got products from like 109 to 389 this one's 389 the six pack is 109 it's got 14 frequencies even that one's I think it's it's a deal and a half but I mean you know I can't make you any promises of what it's gonna do but I'm gonna kind of tell you what the theories are because um, I kind of tell you I won't actually tell you the theories what the theories are now Colda Clark was ver very much aware of Royal Rife you know she was aware of the mortal frequency rate Royal Rife was the one that actually uh, came up with the Royal Rife the Rife microscope I know his name is Royal you've probably never heard of his name or maybe you have um, but you know what's interesting about this guy he's not a doctor he was not a doctor he was a machinist by trade and he was set up with this by somebody with some wealth in his in his to explore something he wanted to try to do he discovered a way to refract light particles into different you know like the light particles like white but it's actually different spectrum of different you know it makes up the white light the white light particle he actually found a way to split that light particle with an optical a very complicated optical microscope and then he was able to see uh, microbes smaller than a particle of light because he was actually using um, just a part of the particle of light so he realized that some of the microbes would show up like say in violet the violet color the violet uh, spectrum color what he actually did was able to he gathered this he you know from a little common sense he says well I realize that the violet color is actually at this frequency so that microbe must be oscillating at that frequency then he attempted to try to apply that frequency to the microbe and he you know tried some sweeps and you know up and down around that frequency 
till he found that it was destroyed. And then he conducted I, hundreds of experiments on mice by injecting them with cancerous tumors. The cancer, they would grow a tumor, he cut the tumor out, and the remaining cancer he would destroy with his beam ray device. This guy was a machinist. He was not a medical doctor. It was then that medical doctors became very interested in his devices and they tried under uh, the watch of medical doctors, the best medical doctors in the country, they tried this technology on 16 terminally ill cancer patients and they flat out were cured. Now, we don't know exactly all the frequencies this guy used, but we know some of them. Now, I went over something here on a, another uh, th one of my videos, and I'm trying to, I was trying to dig into this. This was, um, you know, I put the original right frequencies here for, like, um, you know, different cancers. You know, there's B. coli rod. Here's not a cancer, but B. coli was 417,000. And I was coming up, I was trying to... I. I read how John Crane, Rife Sistin, came up with the alternative frequencies for um, the pad type contact Rife machines they were, well, they were using. And basically that's what the Parazapper My Plus is. It's a pad type. I don't want to, I guess you wouldn't call it a Rife machine, you would call it a John Crane machine maybe. Royal Rife's assistant. A pad type contact machine. But that's how they came up with these frequencies. Now, I'm not 100% sure about the duty cycles. I mean, it's, that's controversial. In this video I talked about, I know there's Rife researchers that use 71% duty cycle, 73% duty cycle, and some use just 50% duty cycle. I don't know, you know if that's super important or not, but I wanted to actually show that there is a method to the madness why they have these original Royal Rife frequencies and they got different frequencies on a consolidated annotated frequency list because what they did was they divided them down to come up with a lower number that was to be that would be better employed by the pad type machine or contact machine that John Crane devised and to make things even more confusing instead of using uh, maybe like you know 500 and 750 or whatever to divide the original right frequencies by he used random digits to really hide his work which is what it looks like <laughs> it's it, you know I wonder why these people couldn't figure out what the hell was going on how they came up with these numbers and I really uh, there is a method to the madness and people have you know been using a lot of these frequencies have found out that some of the main ones really seem to do a lot of good. Now, mo now this is the uh, I put this in a spreadsheet. These are all the frequencies, all 122 unique frequencies that are in the Parazapper My Plus. Um, you could set it to default at any to start on any one of these modes anywhere you want. And say, for instance, you wanted to use to start it on mode 12, 10,000 hertz. You can have it start there. And it would just keep cycling through on 10,000 hertz and just keep running, you know, till, you know, you want to stop using it. But what I wanted to point out is 10,000 hertz is one of the main frequencies on a consolidated frequency list. This is a list of what they, well, you know, it may not be the only frequency they use for these conditions. They might use that frequency plus other frequencies, but usually when you have one of the frequencies and it's got this big long list of conditions that it could possibly address allegedly address it's one of the stronger ones in the consolidated annotated frequency list the main strongest frequencies that are most commonly used by rife researchers that use pad type devices are 20 hertz 465 hertz 725 727 hertz 787 hertz 800 or 802 hertz I don't, you know it depends 880 hertz and 10,000 hertz um probably well that those are to be the most 
commonly used almost in all rife sessions. They, you know, if they're trying to address something or see if it helps, they use almost always use these. And you can see this has a very, very, very long list. Now, I'm not going to say this is going to work for all this, but I think it's a better choice of frequency than the standard 30,000 hertz that Holder Clark Zappers, the typical Holder Clark Zapper, is set on. Holder Clark actually said that to use any frequency from 10 hertz to 500,000 hertz as long as it's positive offset, even though she acknowledged there's a mortal frequency rate for parasites. But it makes more sense to use the mortal frequency rate plus the positive offset together. And if you're going to choose one frequency only, it's better to have more frequencies. But if you're going to choose one frequency, I would think, in my opinion, my humble opinion, would be the 10,000. Because actually, I don't have it listed here, but 9,999 per the um, consolidated annotated frequency list is energy vitality. And who the hell doesn't need that, right? This is... Um, you know, I wish it would work. I don't know if it would work. Boy, it'd be great if you know. I guess if it really worked, that's super great. But the other thing is, she says if you got a problem, they really use a zapper ten eight hours a day. And what I do is I set up um, the contacts on the, the ankles and the wrists, so I don't have to hold anything in your hand or stand on any foot plates, and it's very easy to do. But I like this ten thousand hertz because even if you don't have a problem. It's very, very, very close. It's actually within the uh, Royal Ripe standard of the 9,999 hertz, which is energy vitality. So I think anybody can benefit by this. I mean, this is allegedly for like abdominal pain, acidosis, anxiety, arthritis, backache, bone trauma, bone regeneration, bruises, cancer, cataracts, um, colds, chronic fatigue syndrome. Uh, complete early rife, complete early crane, dang fever, depression, detox, detox and limps and assist, diabetes, uh, disc herniated, ear conditions, various, facial cramps, eye disorders, fatigue, general fissures, fractures, healing, frigidity, frozen shoulder, general antiseptic, general malmality. I mean, it's, it, you know, when you, when, you know, I would not expect to do all this, but when you have a long list like this, this is better. This is usually one of the better frequencies to try. And what I like about this Parazapper My Plus, it has it where you can just run this constantly. And it's very, very accurate. So if it works according to the theories, it's got the accuracy to do the job, at least a technical accuracy. You know, I can't, med I can't medically evaluate this. Immune system stabilization, imp impotence, influenza, influenza, terminal repeat. Intelligence and clarity of thought, joint inflammation, kidney stones, kidney tonic, locom locomotor dysfunction, in coordination, lumbago, Lyme, <laughs> mental disorders, Morgellons disease, motion sickness, multiple MS4, multiple sclerosis, mumps, to muscle tonic, nerve disorder, numbness, pain acute. I mean, I could imagine, it. you know, if, if you know, but I let me say, you know. When you have a long list like this, these are the better ones to try. And I'm going to tell you again that these are the, this is one of the main ones that when they, you know, experiment with this to help try to heal something, you know, in combination with other normal things. I'll say other normal things because this is not well known, actually. Radiate, you know, it's, it's, uh, they usually, this, this is one of the more common frequencies. And like I said, it, it's incorporated and accurately incorporated in the, the Parazapper Mic Plus under mode 12 with 100% positive offset and it's a portable device easy to use sunstroke swelling yellow fever viral complex rheumatism rheumatism uh, and sore throat spleen secondary stammering stiff shoulder blah man it's amazing I mean that's uh, that's why I like this uh, frequency now um, I want to also talk about they got a few other modes in here this is half the mode 13 that is half the Schumann Earth frequency. That and four is a very good one. It's healing and regeneration. Your Bob Beck Zapper. I know Bob Beck is 
a mixed bag. You know, I know he's like uh, the guy now that is some truth with a little bit of, well, a lot of exaggeration. A lot of exaggeration. Now, I'm not trying to exaggerate. I'm trying to tell you, you know, what it's listed for. I'm not telling you it does all this cure-all stuff like Bob Beck did. That guy was out there in left field in outer space by claiming it was a cure-all. I suspect highly that the par- the these frequencies, when used with um, the positive offset as specified by Holder Clark, but in conjunction with using the more commonly known um, right frequencies, quote unquote. And then again, I got to actually tell you that um, you know the right frequencies are not exactly. Um, something that was just made up. Some people think they made them up. That's why I wanted to point again to that video uh, how John Crane um, went ahead and found out about um, you know what he, well, how he how he derived his frequencies from the original right frequencies. But um, the other thing is, you know, when we're looking at three point nine, that's that's the um, uh, what do you call it, the Bob Beck frequency. Now, I know he says frequency is unimportant. That's not true, and he damn well knows better, okay? And also 4, usually they're on 4 hertz, they're right around that. Now, the only serious, serious thing I heard, and I'm going to say heard, that the Bob Beck zapper really worked on that was a very serious condition uh, was malaria. And i got to emphasize heard, Okay. Um, but that may make sense because 4 hertz is listed as the mortal oscillatory rate of malaria per the consolidated annotated frequency list, and malaria is primarily a disease of the blood, so you're zapping the blood, right? I'm not sure about, you know, if that works on that, but that hearsay might be good. The other thing is with the Bob Beg Zapper, and you see the thing is that we the the, the Para Zapper My Plus has all this in it anyway, so you know you don't need to get a Bob Beck one. Is that when you go uh, when you take the use the four hertz, uh, the Para Zapper My also has twenty hertz in it, but this is another reason the Bob Beg Zapper probably does address a lot of conditions. When you use the four hertz, the um, the octaves, when it goes up, like in other words, it goes up in usually in 4, 12, then 20 hertz. When it hits the next octave up on the harmonics, it'll be hitting 20 hertz a couple couple layers up on the harmonics. And 20 hertz is one of the main um, frequencies that are used by these Rife researchers, and it addresses all these conditions, allegedly. So... But it doesn't address everything. The other thing is, but you know, the power zapper my hertz, my actually has the 20 hertz in it and the uh, 3.9 hertz and the 4 hertz. But the other thing is that um, the power zapper my plus has twice the Schumann earth frequency. Now that is interesting. You know, see, that's the 15.66. That is interesting too. Because not per medical doctor so much, maybe maybe people in sports medicine might say it is because they'll use a tens device set on the Schumann Earth frequency with um, tens pads to try to heal up, you know, injuries to the knee, to the bone, I mean, to the to the elbow, to the shoulder, or whatever, right? And some sci- some scientists will acknowledge that. Even if when you stand bare, barefoot on the earth, you get this Schumann earth frequency, and it does help um, regenerate the body. You know, I don't know if that's a medical, acknowledge, medically acknowledged thing, but maybe, maybe not. But this is twice the Schumann earth frequency, 15.66. Now, the reason this was chosen is Don Croft uses a frequency of 15.2 hertz. And it seems to work pretty damn well, but it's it may work pretty damn well because it's pretty close to twice the Schumann Earth frequency. So what he did is he used twice the Schumann Earth frequency, 15.66. 
This is somewhat experimental, but it's not really... I don't really want to say it's all experimental. But that has a lot of logic behind it. A lot. A lot. Now, the other thing I want to mention, too, when Holder Clark was talking about the positive offset, a positively charged um, off, a positive offset is acting as, from what I gather, it's acting as an electron donor to your normal cells. All your cells have a normal battery charge in it. Um, they're actually about a half a volt negatively charged um, in a very healthy person. As your body is, you know, wrecked by cancer, your charge goes down. Um, what I'm assuming, and I think it's a good assumption, what's going on is op the parasites are oppositely charged. They're positively charged. They're acidic. That's the same as saying acidic. The body is slightly alkaline, and which is the same as saying negatively charged. By using the positive offset, it's what I think is going on. I'm pretty sure of this, although I've never heard this said anywhere. But I'm, you know, Royal Rife was a machinist. I'm a halfway mechanic. Maybe it's just using a little plain layman's common sense here, but. The positive offset, it, in, when you're going positive to positive, it's shorting out. It should be shorting out the microbes. She says that it actually is harmful to the microbes only, and it's beneficial to the white blood cells, and I assume all the, all the cells, because it's acting as an electron donor. As a matter of fact, why is vitamin C such a strong, powerful thing to take? Because it acts as an electron donor to um, remove toxins and at the same time uh, repair your body by you know removing these free radicals and bringing up the electrical charge even though even though like if you look at vitamin C for instance I'm, I'm ad living on here a little bit and you'll say wow that's acidic or whatever it's an acid the citric acid well do you know it's not exactly how that works in the body you know do you know that like, for instance a lemon which is extremely acidic has an alkalizing effect on the body? Why is that? I don't know, to tell you the truth, but I'm assuming it is working as an electron donor. You see, that's another topic where the foods themselves, whether the food itself is measured and the pH is acidic, does not mean that the body is going to become more acidic by eating an acidic food pH food, it doesn't always work that way. Uh, like the good, best example is the lemon, because that's basically on the top of the list for one of the most, I think it is the most alkalizing food uh, there is, a lemon, as on its effect on the body, even though the lemon itself is acidic. So it's, that helps me understand why she's using the positive offset, but something she found out, but I do see dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of cases whereby she got the results so I just want to actually emphasize that you know when you, if you want to look into this technology you know I can't promise that this 10,000 Hertz is going to address all these conditions but I like this Hertz uh, frequency because it's it makes a lot more sense than the 30,000 Hertz in my opinion because the 30,000 Hertz does not have that many conditions listed for it under the consolidated frequency list, but 10,000 does. And 10,000 hertz is still a high enough frequency in hertz where you don't feel it. Like if you have the contacts for the zapper, I don't feel it. I don't feel it. it doesn't, I don't feel anything. I don't. Maybe somebody can, but I don't. So it's very comfortable to wear. So anyway, I just want to put this out from another aspect because I think this technology is extremely useful and you know where this technology a lot of it really came from um, was even though it was all verified by medical doctors um, you know later on it was discovered by a machinist <laughs> so I mean you know it's not necessarily you know you know, it, it would have never been funded by the medical profession. You know, that's the thing. It would have never been funded by the medical profession. But that doesn't mean, 
you know, I mean, people look at that and say the man was not a doctor, he was a machinist. Well, like I said, his work was verified by medical doctors. I mean, he didn't, they didn't even try to use this, these frequencies on people until they did hundreds of experiments with mice. And they found it worked. Healed them up and it didn't create any harm to the body. And, you know, you combine that with what Holder Clark did. I think this is a very, very powerful technology. And then when you're looking at a device like with Parazapper or MyPlus, the one that he sells, um, you know, he can't make any promises about it. And I wouldn't want to make any promises, even if it was legal to make promises and if it was legal to make any claim you want. I wouldn't want to do that anyway because I, I'd rather just go with the absolute hardcore facts that where, you know, the truth is mighty and the truth will prevail. That's exactly how I look at it. You know, if it really does work, you know, and the thing is, I think it does work because that is why these these type of devices have persisted for so many decades. It's not like, you know, maybe they're not the miracle of all miracles, but the technology is getting better and better. And, you know, right now, in a portable device, the Parazapper My Plus is the best device going because it has the accuracy, the technical aspects are there for all the theories. The technical aspects are there. It combines the best of Holder Clark and the best of the most commonly used frequencies on that consolidated annotated frequency list. And we have determined that those to, the list on a consolidated annotated frequency list, the main ones were derived by John Crane, and he did have a logic where he got he divided those down from original Royal Rife frequencies. So is it snake oil? In my opinion, definitely not. Is it a cure-all? In my opinion, no. No. Is it a help? In my opinion, I think so. So we'll put it to that way.